Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up this computer power supply and we're going to see what is it that takes your 120 volt power to 19 and a half volts that your computer can use to charge your battery. What's in this thing? Well, the first thing is there's no screws or easy way to open it up. It it's two molded pieces of plastic that have been glued together. I tried using the edge of a screwdriver. That didn't make very much progress. That's all right. I have a Dremel tool and that'll cut right through it. Boy, these things sure aren't easy to get open, but I think I finally got it. So there's a metal box around it all. There's the circuit board inside. This is some kind of metal shielding that must be for protecting it in case it melts down. And then this metal shielding would be attached to earth ground. And in order to remove it, it looks like it's welded on, tack welded, and soldered to the circuit board, which is another reason why I think it's an earth ground. So I think I'm gonna have to cut through that with the Dremel too. So of course, after I started cutting, I noticed that there are these release tabs on either side. So there's all kinds of glue for this. Yeah, it's like a adhesive to keep everything together. Well, immediately I can see this big yellow thing, which I think is the main transformer. And then right next to that, there's some capacitors. Ah, so I just noticed this big capacitor here hiding underneath this glue. And you have to be careful of those because, especially since this runs on 120 volts, could store a lot of energy. I'm going to see if I can pull more of this housing off because there might be some brains components underneath. Oh yeah, sure enough. Oh, oh wow, uh, there's a rectifier hidden in there, those four wires. So that takes the AC current and turns it into DC. There's quite a few components involved. Well, there you have it. That's the inside of a 120 volt laptop step down power supply. 